Hey everyone, just a quick word before we get started on this beer review. If you're interested in purchasing any of these beers that you see on my channel, stick around to the end of the video and I will tell you where you can purchase them at online. Now isn't that lovely? Have beer shipped right to your home and don't have to go anywhere. All right, enjoy the video. Cheers to that friends thanks so much for stopping by once again as we sample some more great tasting american craft beers with dr dave fantastic now for our sampling pleasures and tasting delights today oh man this is a good summertime beer i can just tell right here it's from the southern tier brewing company they're located in lakewood new york and this is the new haze it says on the can and it's a hazy and smooth ipa Checks in at 6% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are 19. According to the date stamp on the bottom, this is good for another two months. So we're in good shape here. Let's go ahead and pry this stop off, baby. Nice. Now, I do have some glassware from Southern Tier, but I was just too lazy to dig it out. So I'm going to use this one, freshly washed and rinsed. <laughs> it's like this sometimes. Well, look at the color of that pouring out the can. And look at the color in the glassware. Ooh, it looks like a lemonade. <laughs> Ooh, got a strong citrus aroma in there, too. I can tell you this is brewed with Mosaic, Simcoe, and Idaho 7 hops. So it should be a little bit tropical fruit-like and have plenty of citrus. Yeah, for the flavors. That is a very hazy, light, golden color. I'm not even sure if we can call that golden. <laughs> that is more of a yellow color. Mm, let's see what kind of aroma. Nice head on there, too. Look at that foam. Nice. <sighs> Get a little bit of tropical fruit in there, like a honeydew melon. Yeah, and uh, that citrus is really strong in there. Hey, we're going to thank the brewers at Southern Tier for all the hard work they do there. And cheers to you at home as well. No doubt. Oh, man. This hits the spot on a day like this. It's 92 degrees Fahrenheit outside, which is what, about 30 Celsius or so? Ooh, don't quote me on that. I can't convert that quick in my head. Yeah, America's the only place where we don't use the metric system. What are you going to do, baby? Mm. Oh, man. That's got some mm, lip-smacking flavor on it, baby. This is quite good, all kidding aside. Very low carbonation on this beer. Very light mouthfeel. Just perfect to kick back a few. And it's only 6%. Yeah, 6% is. I know it's higher than uh, your adjunct lager style beers, but uh, this is not an adjunct lager. <laughs> Cheers to that. Very flavorful. Very flavorful. Man, that citrus in there, and like I said, that honeydew melon. Mmm. Very light bodied beer. Nice, crisp, clean finish. Mm. Southern Tier, baby. Never met a beer from Southern Tier that I didn't like and probably never will. <laughs> yeah, they make some great beers. Yeah, they got some great beers. All right, my friends, I'm going to run out of here. I'm going to go sit on the balcony and enjoy this beer. Man, this is a great beer on a day like this. It's bloody hot out, but this is a good, refreshing a beer, no doubt about it. All right, hey, life is short. You got to drink whatever you like, my friends. <laughs> Until we meet next time, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers. Okay, everyone. As promised, Dr. Dave's going to tell you where he buys his beers and where you can buy them also. First on the list is RivalryBrews.com. Now, don't worry. I'm going to put the links in the description box for you. Rivalry Brews is a relatively new mail order place. It's based right here in Ohio in Medina. And they are fantastic. I tell you what, when they first started, I got free shipping on all the beers. 
Now I think they, they charged me two dollars. Two dollars for twelve beers. That's fantastic. Now, as far as I know, they ship to the lower forty-eight, but you might want to check the website on that. I can't be a hundred percent sure. But the shipping is fast. The turnaround is fast, and if anything's wrong, they will fix it right away. I only had one issue with them, and they refunded half my purchase order, which I thought was more than fair. More than fair. So anyway, uh, by the way, disclaimer, I don't get any money on any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of these beer companies. They don't know I'm doing this. I'm just telling you where to buy the beer. Now, one day I may be affiliated, and if I am at that point, I'll certainly let you know. So Rivalry Brews, located right here in Ohio, they specialize in Ohio beers, uh, beers from Pennsylvania and Indiana. So if you want some good Ohio craft beer, that's a good place to start. The second one on my list, oh, I love this place. It's called Halftime Beer. Halftime Beer has two locations in New York State, Poughkeepsie, and I believe it's pronounced Mamoronic. Mamoronic. Yeah, don't quote me on that pronunciation. I tried my best. Yeah, anyway. They have more beer online than you could possibly look at in a day. I'm telling you, they have beer everywhere on that website. And all you have to do is go on there, make your selection, and have it shipped. Now, they do have gift boxes, which come with a really nice cooler. Yeah, and uh, you can't beat it. It's $5 shipping on those uh, special orders. Now, on the other beers, the shipping can get a little bit pricey, but I've never had an order for more than $20 shipping, which I think is really good for 12 bottles of beer. Now, if you get cans, it's less cost because it less it weighs less, uh, and that's what costs the money is the weight and the size of the box. So, yeah, check them out. Now, I belong to two of their uh, what's known as Beer of the Month Club. I'm in their German beer of the month club so i get 12 bottles from six different breweries two of each once a month and there's a lot of beers in there that i've never heard of from germany i thought i had them all not even close and then i have the around the world beer club which is exactly what it sounds like it's beers from all over the world so far i only got one beer that i didn't really like uh you know it happens it happens, and, uh, you know, you take your chances on that. But uh, I got some beer from South Korea, of all places, South Korea. I thought it was really, really good. Now, last on the list, but not least, and I didn't put these in any particular order, it's the Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, they're out of San Diego, and they have a killer selection, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, talking about all this beer, I'm going to have to have one here. Mm. That's just a regular run-of-the-mill Pilsner, German style, but it hits the spot on a day like this. Anyway, best damn beer shop. Woo! Now, their shipping, they require you to uh, choose in lots of six. So you can get six, 12, 18, 24 is the maximum. And uh, their shipping is reasonable, considering I'm on the East Coast and they're on the West Coast. Yeah, the shipping is generally about $19 for a 12-bottle selection, which I don't think is a lot. $19? No, I don't think that's a lot. Now, the more beer you buy, the less money it's going to cost. That's just uh, a fact of economics. So if you want to buy six beers, it's going to cost more to ship it than the 12. Hey, I, I don't make the rules, man. Just buy more beer. You save more money on shipping. What can I tell you? Yeah, but they're a great place. And uh, so all all three of those places, Rivalry Brews uh, for Ohio beers. And then you have the uh, Halftime Beverage, which is in New York. They have a selection on everything. And same thing with Best Damn Beer Shop. Now, if you want some West Coast beers that you can't find in your town, that's the place to buy them at. Last but not least, people always ask me, what is that on your beer glass? Well, I bought it at Amazon, Amazon.com. It's called a vacuum VIN, vacuum VIN. And if I'm not mistaken, it's from uh, Sweden, if I'm not mistaken. And the inside of it is lined with special material. So what you do is you put this in the freezer, you let it sit overnight, and then you put your beverage in here. 
and it will maintain that beverage at around 38 degrees, which is really cold for a beer, but I like my pills just cold. Now, if you already have a beer that warmed up, put it in here, and it'll bring it to the proper temperature, no doubt. And I said last, but I, I was mistaken. This is the last thing I want to talk about. Uh, Dr. Day's beer glasses. Now, I did sell these a number of years ago when I had my other beer channel. And um, this is a new design, though. This is a different design. Now, I could sell these if there's enough interest in them, but I have to order them. Uh, about 144 at a time. So I don't want to order them unless there's some real interest in them. Now, it's difficult to see on here, but it says Dr. Day's Cheap-Ass Beer Reviews. Yeah, uh, it's not really going to come out that well there on the camera, but I would sell these uh, at cost. Now, I'm not trying to make any money on them. I think it cost me $14.98 to, uh, to have those made. So I would sell them at the same price. Now, I don't know if the price could have gone up because I did buy those a few years back. So, But I would sell them at cost if anybody's interested. But uh, like I said, I don't get any money off these links. There's no affiliate, uh, affiliate links here. I'm not making any money. I just wanted to let everybody know where I buy my beer so you could buy it too. Oh, and you know, I almost forgot. The Amazing Clubs Beer of the Month Club. Amazing Clubs. I'll put all the links in the description box. Knock yourself out. Hey, thanks for watching, okay? And Dr. Dave says cheers to that.